How many guys have seen us before? Hell yeah. How many of you guys are seeing us for the first time? It's always a good time to play at this uh, play on stage 49. Big shout out to uh, all the people that run this. Melissa, all of them. Security guard. Oh yeah, security guard. He asked for a shout out. Woo! We're going to play a song off of uh, an old song. This song's called Is This Hate? <laughs>
This is the last song. The song's called Bleed. Thank you guys. Under Exile! Woo! Uh, these guys just killed this stage big time. I was like on fire! Oh my goodness! We've had some rock, right? We've had some metal. Oh my goodness. I gotta breathe after that. Wasn't that amazing? Give it up to them again. Oh, they love you guys. <sighs> Are you guys having a good time? Yeah, now that it's cooled down, the party started, they warmed up this dance floor. Oh my goodness. Hey everybody, my name is Suzette Amaya and I'm your host this evening. I've been here all day. I'm here all day tomorrow. It's an honor to come and spend some time with everyone. I came all the way from Vancouver, BC, Canada. Woo! So for all those Canadians out there, we got across the border. <laughs> and we're here with everyone today. And we want to thank you for coming to Stage 49. This is where it's at. There's going to be more entertainment. And uh, wow, we're mixing up the genres. We went from rock to like alternative, 
to metal. Wow. So I'm a radio producer in Canada. I have a show called Think Indian, 100.5 FM CFRO. We air every Monday night from 9 to 10. You can listen online. I've won many awards across Canada for the best indigenous radio show. And it's an honor to come here to be with everyone at Gathering of Nations. Woo! Doesn't it feel good in your spirit right now? All this medicine, like all the perform, like there's so much regalia, artisans in the marketplace. The food, I just had my first Navajo burger. Like, whoa, oh my goodness. The food here is amazing. Like, I definitely can tell the difference between, like, when people say Indian taco and Navajo taco. I can say as a witness, there's a big difference, for sure. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to take a teeny bit of a break. But for all you lash baddies, if you see I have some wings here, I have my own eyelash company. And on the side, we have eyelashes for sale for 10 bucks. So if you want to spruce it up because the sun is going down. And I know there's a lot of after parties. But if you're loving what you see here on the stage, the best place to find out who all the indigenous performers are is to go to Gathering of Nations to their website and go to stage 49. They have all the bios of all the performers and you can go check them out on their social media and their YouTube because I am obsessed with indigenous artists. Are you? I don't feel that. Are you obsessed with indigenous artists? Hell yeah! This is our time right now. So really enjoy yourself here. Because after this pandemic, we get to hang out and see each other. But please be safe and be mindful. Protect our elders and whatnot. But man, we're gathering in such a sacred time. People are in ceremony. People are spreading medicine. People are snagging. All sorts of things are going on here at the fairgrounds. So we're going to take a quick little break and we'll come back for more entertainment. Please buy one of your Gathering of Nations programs where you can see all the events that are happening here at Gathering of Nations. We'll take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. And if you do, go get something to eat, come back. But there's going to be more entertainment. Trust me, it's going to be popping in here. Now let's check in with them. Since we started Grand Entry this afternoon, my friends, we've had 350,000 viewers on Powell's.com. Some of the people that cannot be here, they're at home watching relatives. 96 countries online across the world. So all the people that are on Powell's.com that are not here with us, whether you're at home, family members and relatives, or for those viewing us from Germany, Belgium, all over across 96 countries. How about all of us give those people that are watching right now a great big Gathering of Nations round of applause to all the viewers that are here on Powell's.com. We are worldwide, my friends. And we say thank you and welcome for tuning in to this beautiful celebration. Craig and Randy, I believe we're gonna to need to get a stationary mic set up here. This gentleman, we're gonna be calling out your Joe Tony and the Apache Crown Dancers. Both myself and Ruben have watched this performance many times from the Six Nations Mohawk country to the Rocky Boy Chippewa Cree, and we are in for a special treat. Sorry for that intro. We got a correction. Sometimes we do that. Randy and Cricket, they want to do a quick inner tribal and then then the Miss Indian World and then and then the Apache Crown Dancers and then our special. All right. A little bit of a change up, but that's okay. We can make it work. Blue Medicine Well. Whenever you're ready, boys. This is what inner tribal, they're next in the singing, so blue minutes and well over there, Jermaine Bell. Otter Trail and Meskwaki stand by for the Miss Indian World Princess contestant.
Once again, this is Inner Tribal. Dancers, help us out. Dancers, singers, Inner Tribal. I want to thank you for that inner tribal song that was Blue Medicine Well. We're going to clear the arena one more time. We say thank you. Marty. Meskwaki Nation, stand by. You're going to be singing for the Miss Indian World uh, contestants. We're going to turn things over to Beulah Sunrise, who always eloquently takes us through this special. You've seen these beautiful girls come in the grand entry. We have 22 uh, contestants vying this year. And we are going to showcase them. And uh, Beulah will make uh, introductions on each and every one of them. Right after we get through that, we're going to come back in the lineup here. Brother Joe be standing by. Once again, we're clear the arena right here, and uh, Beulah Sunrise not only does the radio show that you get to listen to throughout the week here in beautiful Albuquerque, but she always makes proper introductions of all of our beautiful contestants you've seen here, showcased at Grand Entry. And now at this time, you're going to get to meet them individually and watch them as we uh, stand by with Musquaki Nation. So we turn it over to the lovely Beulah. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Yachts, eh? Buenos dias. I mean, buenos noches. Buenas noches. How are you all? Are you doing okay? Let me, let me hear you say, yeah. You're in the burke. You're here in our, in our wonderful, wonderful Tinkley Coliseum. We used to call it the Cow Palace, hey, back in the day. But we have rodeos here and stuff. But we're having a really wonderful time here at the Gathering of Nations. I thank you all for your time. And I'd like you all to welcome our contestants for Miss Indian World 2022. Without two years of Miss Indian World, we've been uh, waiting for this moment. And we have many beautiful girls representing the United States and Canada. They will be out here doing their special dance competition. I'm gonna take a moment to uh, call one of our judges out here. We're waiting for uh, Cheyenne Brady. And uh, Cheyenne Brady, if you make your way over here, all the rest of our judges are here. And let me explain to you the dance competition for Miss Indian World, if you don't mind. Um, what the girls will be doing, there's 23 contestants all together, and they will all be out there on the floor um, at one group and then another group. And if you see them dancing something different than powwow dancing, it's not a mistake. That's what it is. They're, they're told that to express themselves to a powwow song. So this is a dance competition that showcases their dance. It may be a powwow dance, it may be a tribal dance from their own tribe or nation, 
or it may be some way that they want to express themselves. So some of them have brought traditional dances from their pueblos, from their villages, from their communities to, sh to share with you tonight. And the judges are told to judge them not on whether they're dancing powwow style to the powwow music, but that they're dancing their own style to the song that they're dancing to. So let's welcome the contestants for 2022 Miss Indian World. Everybody give them a big round of applause. Let's have them run, walk out to the floor. Welcome ladies, welcome to the arena. Ladies, come on out. Come on, you, you all can welcome them better than that. Come on. I know you have a free hand or two. All right, welcome these young ladies to the dance floor. And if we could, the next two drums in line. Okay, the invited drums, the next two invited drums, Otter Trail from Apache, Oklahoma, stand by. Otter Trail will have the first group and Meskwaki Nation from Tama, Iowa. You will have the second song. We ask you humbly if you will give us a song for our Miss Indian World. We're going to go to Otter Trail first. Group two, if you would step back. And young ladies from group one, please make your way to the middle of the arena, find a nice place to dance, and make sure that your number is seen and that you are, your dance is seen. Spread out, everybody. Don't get close to each other. Spread out. You all should be used to social distancing by now, eh? <laughs> I'm happy to see all of you here this evening, and I'm happy to see all your wonderful faces. Some of you have masks, some don't. But it's just happy, I'm just happy to be here and I'm happy to be here with you. Okay, when the judges are being told the uh, procedure here and we have six wonderful judges. Let me introduce them to you while they're getting ready. I'd like to introduce you to Naomi Soto. She's one of our judges. Kevin Otero. S Stephanie Poston. Cheyenne Brady, Cole Hunter, and Eva Encinas. Encinas. Eva Encinas. There, I said it right. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about Miss Indian World while the judges are getting ready. Uh, they, their uh, whole pageant started on Tuesday with an orientation, and then they started being briefed on all of the, all the different categories that they'll be taking part in. Wednesday, they had their personal interviews, and that was in the morning, and then they had a wonderful dinner at one of our local restaurants, a Brazilian grill, and I can't remember the name of it, but it was really good. <laughs> and then yesterday was their traditional talent presentations on Thursday, and tonight is our dance competition. All right, I think we're ready. Otter Trail from Apache, Oklahoma. Please grace us and these wonderful girls with the song, Take It Away.
Come and line up. We'll ask the judges to make their way over here and we'll have them line up. Make sure your numbers are visible. Line up on the line, ladies. There's a line out there. All right. So what did you all really think? What did you really think? Woo, all right. I'm so proud of these young ladies. Like I said, they represent uh, many, many different nations and communities throughout Indian country. And I can honestly tell you after knowing these two, all of these girls for the past two days, three days now, I can tell you that we will have a wonderful Miss Indian world. All of them are very qualified and they're all very spirited. They have wonderful senses of humor and they're really uh, humble and sweet young ladies, and I'm happy to meet all of them here at the Gathering of Nations 2022. We, made, we waited many years for this, and uh, it is many years. Two years is too long, right? Am I right? Yeah, two years is too long. So I'm glad to see all of you here, and I'm glad to see 23 ladies came out to run for Miss Indian World. All right, we're gonna let the judges have a moment to uh, mark their ballots. As I mentioned, Thursday night they had their traditional talent presentations. Some of them sh demonstrated uh, their uh, different ways of their tribes, art, uh, 